welcome back to my channel. It Hi. is Rachel and Alice is here. Um, we are going to do today unboxings. We're going to do a box versus box. We're going to do glossy box versus look fantastic. Their parent company is the same. If you guys don't know that, uh, glossy box, I believe is a $21 a month subscription and look fantastic is about a $19 subscription. I get this one on Alice, honey. I can't talk while you're, you're singing, honey. Um, anyway, this one comes on a, I get this on a three month. Um, so I get this for about the same price as this. So I feel like they should be pretty equivalent. Um, glossy box tends to have some variations. I feel like look fantastic does not, but let's, let's dive into this on a quick note. If you guys are not or have not taken advantage of this, please, please, please go take a look at my video for the 500 subscriber giveaway. I've got two big boxes of goodies. Hold on one second. We had a little background noise, so I was trying to tell her not to quite talk so much. Anyway, um, and I know you guys are not bothered by her, but I can't think to record when she's talking. But anyhow, um, yes, please take advantage of that giveaway. Um, I'll link above, I'll link below. Uh, all the information on how to enter is in the description of that video and it's pretty simple to enter. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a certain comment based on what I say in that video. Um, and it closes at the end of this month. I want everybody to have an advantage to take, to get it. I've got lots of fun goodies. It is international, all that good stuff. All right, let's get into this. Um, so sometimes when I do these boxes, I do try on, I do find that look fantastic and glossy box tend to be very skincare heavy. And so these are a good box to do battle versus battle. Um, next video or one of my next videos, I will do the Allure unboxing um, and I will do my Ipsy versus Glossy Box, or not Glossy Box, Boxy Charm, which I've gotten these in. I, I will do a trial on of these because there is a certain item in this box that I think everybody um, has been wondering how to use and I have a lot of experience with that brand so I thought it would be a good one to try on for you guys. All right, I digress enough. This is way too long of an entry. Let's get into it. I'm going to start with Glossy Box. So Glossy Box always has these really beautiful boxes. Sometimes they are themed a certain way. Sometimes they are just this beautiful plain pink box. I have peeked inside this box. I have not peeked inside this one. So I already know what I'm getting on this. Um, I say this every time I open a glossy box, I either love or hate it. I have such a like weird dynamic with glossy box, but their special edition boxes tend to be really good. Um, I don't always love what's in them, but they tend to be a really good value. So part of that keeps me staying with glossy box, even though I will have like every other month have a kind of a hit or a miss on them. Um, I think right now that they have the Mori Pacific box, which weirdly enough is a repeat from last falls when I got it. I'll link that video up above, but it is a great box. And if you did not get that box, I highly suggest getting it. All right, so they always have pretty packaging inside. They always have it all tied up with a pretty little ribbon. And then um, this time they put in a little thing about the Amori coffee. I don't particularly know much about that brand. And then they always have the little handout um, that tells you kind of why they do a box. So for example, they said this one is bare faced beauty. So I guess the theme of this box is to kind of get away from being like super makeup up. Of note today, I am super makeup up because I actually had time to get ready. If anyone's interested, I was playing with the BH Moroccan Sunset palette. So pretty all into the corals. Um, anyway, that's it. All right, and then this is gonna be kind of a little spiel of there. I'm gonna keep this to the side so that I can talk about it. Hey, Miss Alice, can you do me a big favor? Can you see on the bed there? Can you go grab that little thing that looks like a sponge over there? Go around, go around, go around. Go around. Go around. All right, guys, I just realized I pulled one thing out of this for one of my other videos. Can you see it? Okay, great. So the first item, can you hand it to me, baby? I talked about this in my Fat Fit Fun video. Um, I knew this was coming once I opened it, so I decided to show it in the other video, but this is the Daily Concepts Daily Body Scrubber. I actually will open it this time so you guys can see it. Um, so, oh, and by the way, the Fat Fit Fun sale ends, well, I'll probably post this video after that sale ends, so this is not gonna be that helpful. Um, anyway, this is what the scrubber looks like. It has, it reminds me of like a soap on a rope. 
literally, except for it's a sponge on a rope. Um, so that's kind of cool. I definitely will give this a try. They say that this is valued at, let's see, at $10. This is a full size item. So that's okay. We've I feel like we've gotten other daily um, concepts scrubbers from them. We got the face scrubber. I think this one's a much better, better scrub than the other ones. Here you go, baby. Don't mess it up. Here you go. All right, next thing here is the Grow Gorgeous back into the roots. Now, this is a little bit of a bummer, and this is not their fault. Um, but I got this in a Look Fantastic box last month. And so I haven't even had a chance to try it. I'm going to give it a try, and if I really love it, I'll keep this. If I don't love it, I'll put it in a giveaway. Um, but this is a nice sample. Like this, let's see how much this one is. So this is considered a full size, and it is $28. And I do actually believe, I think this is on Sephora or Ulta. I can't remember which place I saw it. I think it was Ulta recently. They added this brand in. Um, so I am curious how well this is going to work. So that's not bad. I'm just a little bummed I got this in one of their previous sister boxes. All right, so the next thing here is the Ariza Beauty Dewy Glow Balm. I feel like this brand has slowly been getting into subscription boxes more. I've tried their lip glosses, which I do like, and this is considered full size for $16. Now this is only 0.85 ounces, if you can see there. This bottle is huge. When I hold this up to the light, I think this thing is like this much empty. So this is a huge waste of packaging, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. Um, it is sealed, so let's open it up. Doesn't have much of, oh, whoa, that's a very thick balm. Okay, so that's the balm, and that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna put it on my lips, um, but that's a very interesting balm. I do like balms for my lips, not so much for my hands and nails, but that's what this is supposed to be. Yeah, ooh, I actually don't like that smell. It's kind of petroleum-y. Can I smell? You wanna smell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kinda like it and kinda don't. So this has jojoba oil, shea butter, bran oil, vitamin C, sunflower, and sal, safflower seed extract. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I think about this, but I don't, I don't know if this is really worth $16. I feel like that's an over amount, but let's just put it on my hands. Like they said, it's good for skin. I'm not a big fan of these on skins. Yes, baby. Can I see what's in this little thing? Yeah, can you show everybody your lips? Come here. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. I, I just had it. I, I'm going to leave it at that. All right, guys, that is that product. I'm not enamored by it. I think it's overpriced, but whatever. All right, they do have a discount code for all Ariza beauty purchases made at that. They have a code here, uh, GB202019, and it expires at the end of June 30th. Yes, you can, baby. All right, guys, next product here. I've heard a lot of complaints on uh, different forums about the fact that they put this size. This is the Pure Elise Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. I've heard good things about this balm. I love Pure Elise or Pure Elise Say. I never know how to say this brand. Um, they're saying this is full size, but everything I've heard, this is actually sample size. This is like the size that came in Ipsy. This is 0.34 ounces, so it's a little, little size. And um, it does have a seal on here. Oh, it smells like watermelon. Let's see. Oh, okay. And that's what the balm looks like. It's just a clear balm. I'm just going to put it on the same hand. Okay, so it feels more watery than the other one. Can and I it smells... It smells amazing. Okay, so this is a lightweight, oil-free gel cream, and it definitely feels more like a gel cream. And it can be used to keep skin energized, hydrated for oily combo, and sensitive to dull skin. It has aloe vera, cucumber, and white tea. I totally think this could be used as a hand cream or a lip cream or any other type of balm. So that is actually like nice. I kind of wish they had flipped the sizes on those. All right, next two items here are the Slice Mask Sheets. I actually have a couple of these from before, so this is a repeat from a couple months ago. And I don't know how good these are because I actually have never gotten around to trying these, so I am going to definitely give these a try and get back to you. But the idea is these are little masks that you can put on targeted areas that you may need more moisturizer or other stuff. Yes, baby. I'm gonna go for a nap on the bed. Don't get the makeup on the bed, okay, please? Okay. All right, so these are by Coco Star, 
and these are two full sheets they say they're ten dollars for two of them that's considered a full size so so supposedly everything so far is considered full size i don't know how much that is true final item here is also a purely say item this is coconut oil and coffee in my very first ipsy bag yes my very first ipsy bag i got one of these and this is definitely not a full size i can tell you this is not a full size um they said six fluid ounces is full size oh i feel like an idiot now so this is not a full size they said full size is 1.7 fluid ounces so this is definitely like a maybe a fourth of a full size not even that and then the grow gorgeous let's see eight fluid ounces 2.2 fluid ounces, so this is also not full size. And Alice, honey, sit over there, please. And then this one is considered full size. Okay, so Alice, can you please go sit down, honey? So these two are not full size. I'm sorry, I misspoke there. Okay, so this one is not a full size. I do know this. Six ounces is a full size. This is 0.7 uh, ounces. So this is really not worth a lot. I am not going to open this. I don't like coffee scrubs. I don't like the smell of coffee, actually. And it's a fine scrub for what it does, but I just didn't enjoy the smell of it before. And so I'm going to give this away to somebody else who put it in the giveaway. Or daddy. Or daddy, but I don't think he liked the scrub either. All right, so guys, that is the full value on that is really not very much. I think this box totals out to maybe like $60. It's a pretty low value box. I'll be honest, I felt a little bummed out on this box, mainly because these were repeats. I felt like this was a really small sample um, and this was kind of like a deceivingly small sample, like a big old bottle for small. And I really hate when companies do that. This is cool, but I'm just bummed that I just recently got it. And I feel like as their parent company, they should, could have, should have kind of had an idea that people may get both, but I can't really blame them that much. Otherwise, this is pretty neat. This is not their fault, but this is also a tiny sample. And then this is okay. So this was a very lackluster, glossy box. I think I have one or two more months. Hey, baby, can you go over there? Why? Because. It's loud. <laughs> it's loud. Um, this is a lackluster month. I'm going to give it a couple more tries. And, you know, every time I say I'm about to cancel it, they come out with some amazing box that I just absolutely adore. So I'm going to give it a little more time. But anyway... All right, let's get into Look Fantastic. This is a UK brand. Um, so this one, so Glossy Box has a branch in the US. Uh, Look Fantastic does not. So this box has to come over from the UK and clear customs. And um, yet it's still only like 19 bucks, which to me is not bad. This box always has a fun looking box that they change up every month. Last month was this really kind of boring brown color. Another month it was a beautiful blue like watercolor. So I do love their boxes. I almost love their boxes more than the glossy box boxes. And then they always have a little saying, confidence is the ultimate shield. They have different sayings on the inside. These are just really, really, really cute little boxes. Um, they always have this really ex luxurious brochure. And then they always give you a version of L, the British or UK. Uh-uh. Excuse me. Okay. Finding my Zen. I love her in here, but sometimes, she, well, she's a five-year-old. So anyway, they do the L UK. Uh, hey, sweetie, can you be a little quieter? Okay, thank you. They do it an L-U-K uh, magazine, so that's kind of fun. Um, I'll be honest, I don't actually really look through them that much, but it's still fun to get that in there. All right, and then they always have it beautifully packaged with a little sticker. I have not gotten into this one, so we are discovering this together. Ooh, and I already see an expensive brand here. Um, all right, so this is what it looks like. Not the most full, but that's okay. So the first thing is Skin Cosmetics. London Rose Illuminating Glow Hydrogel Eye Pads. And let me pull open the book to give you guys an idea of the value and everything on this. If I can find this here. Um, I think they usually have a breakdown of what's in the box. Let's see. All right, so these are worth 6.99 uh, euro, or not euro, sorry, pounds. Um, and I forget what the conversion rate is on pounds versus US dollars. Um, sorry guys, you'll have to look that up. Um, 
But anyway, let's see what this is. So these are hydrogel iPads. I love hydrogel uh, face masks. They're kind of the few that I like better than um, the the ones that tend to be paper. I feel like the paper ones don't feel as nice or cloth. But this, it's just one. Um, so this is a really expensive uh, mask. Uh, I've heard of this brand. I feel like they gave us a limp lip plumping product in the last box that was pretty decent and um, you're supposed to apply this for 10 to 15 minutes it has hyaluronic acid which is great because it attracts moisture to wherever you put it and uh, powerful antioxidants so cool I will use it but just one it's kind of a bummer all right next item is this Avant hyaluronic acid facial serum. It's eight hour retexturizing and antioxidizing face serum. Now we got a lotion by this brand that was a hyaluronic lotion and this brand is very expensive. So this teeny tiny little bottle is worth 89 pounds. So that's probably like almost a hundred dollars US dollars if I'm guessing on the conversion rate. Um, this is one fluid ounce which is a decent amount and this is really cool because I love hyaluronic acid. So this will be one of the ones I put in place when I use up my current hyaluronic acid because I use a ton of hyaluronic acid. So I am really curious about this. Um, this is, they said if you have oily skin, use in lieu of a moisturizer. So this sounds like it's a little bit thicker than your typical hyaluronic acid serums. Um, I have dry skin, so for me, I'll probably use it under a hyaluron or under a, a moisturizer. So anyway, hyaluronic acid is supposed to plump the skin. We've already talked about this. And it has lipoic acid, which is an antioxidant that is supposed to improve the skin's barrier. So let's see on that. So that's already the value of this box blows glossy box out of the water. So the next one here is Wella Professionals Nutrient Enrich with Goji Berry Deep Nourishing Mask. Now, I have tried a few of the products from Wella Professional, and so far what I've tried from this brand I like, but I don't feel like this is a particularly expensive brand. Let's see if they have it in here. So this is, yeah, this is not an expensive brand. I feel like this is a, I feel like I've gotten this brand in a Target box before. This is worth two pounds and 78 cents, so less than five bucks. And um, this is supposed to work for dry and damaged, oh, it's a hair mask. Okay, dry and damaged hair. It's a mix of vitamin E and uh, nutrient enriched blend. It's supposed to help stress, frizz, and ensure revitalization of hair. So that's cool. All right, I always love a hair mask. In fact, I did a good hair mask today on my hair. All right, next thing here is by Mine Tan, which I have never tried this brand, but I've seen it popping around on things. So I'm curious about this. This is the Gradual Tan Color Extender. And so let's see what this is all about. So this is only $5.99 uh, pounds, so less than $10. This gives the skin a gorgeous glow with Gradual Tanning Lotion. Gentle, non-sticky formula and has aloe vera multivitamins. Um, and soothes dry skin. So I am curious about this. I don't know if I'd put this straight on my face. I may try it out on my arm first, um, just to kind of see. You guys know my philosophy, I like being pale, but this is still an intriguing thought and a great way to try this brand. I feel like I saw this brand in something, maybe a subscription box or maybe it was FabFitFun. All right, next item here is Polar Northern Light Smoothing Cream. I've never heard of this brand, and I do not know what a smoothing cream is. This is worth 17 pounds and 50 cents, so this is about a $20 value, most likely. And this is a, uh, reveal a radiant and flawless complexion with this light soothing cream. So it has high concentration of vitamin C, and it has polar berry, berry extracts and creamy formula, formula boost radiance and encourages regeneration of cells. So what does this mean? This is uh, suitable for a day cream is what they're saying. Um, and then at a night time that you can use it. So this is basically a face cream is what they're saying. Um, I love trying new brands. And that's what I love about this box is we get brands that we don't typically see in US boxes because they're UK and European brands. So it introduces me to a whole nother world of makeup and 
I, there are so many brands from a, a, across the ocean and abroad that I have discovered that I am so glad because um, it's fun. It's fun to explore all these different companies and everything. So the final thing here is from Mellow Cosmetics. I have gotten some stuff from them. I feel like all the stuff I've ever gotten from them is lip products, but this is the Mellow Aria Lip Pencil. That is such a pretty color. It's like a nudish pink. Oh yeah, that's right up my alley. In fact, that color would look really good with my eye color today. I, I tend to use lip pencils to kind of fill in the whole lip um, and then put a gloss over it, but that is really creamy. It is a gel lip pencil. It's worth $10 or 10 euros. 10 pounds and 50 cents. I cannot talk today. Um, and it's supposed to glide on effortlessly. It does. So very, very nice. Um, all right. So that is a great box actually. So little bummed about only having one of these, but they do have a super expensive cream and then they have some fun brands and yeah. So of the two, I definitely like the look fantastic. I think it's a better value. Um, I think between having the magazine and the, the overall value of the products is a little bit better. I also feel like the curation's a little bit better on Look Fantastic. I feel like Glossy Box is hit or miss. Sometimes their curation is amazing and sometimes it feels like they just kind of look through their stocks and find whatever they have left over and then they throw it in a box. Um, but I do love that these are more skin care, uh, hair care, that kind of stuff heavy. Like these are my fun skincare, hair care, makeup, less makeup boxes. So anyway, guys, that is it. Um, let me know what you think and which one you liked better. And you know, I'm going to continue doing these for a little bit longer, but I'm thinking if I ask one anytime soon, it's probably going to be this one. But then I keep saying that and I keep getting it. So anyway, guys, bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, she wants to say something real quick. Bye. <laughs> and, Mommy, can you move for a second? She's been bolding that. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll show you it in the next video. Okay, bye. bye.